Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I have another Idiopan tuning video for you. I am super excited about this one. Um, so it's a modified blues scale and uh, I kind of did a couple different modifications um, because it was a tricky one to adapt to a pentatonic um, tone drum like the Idiopan, but uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm really excited to play around with it. So let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna do a really quick overview of what the blues scale is. Um, so if you are familiar with tongue drums, um, you might know the minor pentatonic scale. Um, that's what a lot of them come tuned to, um, just because it's really fun to play around with, there's not a lot of dissonance, and you can have a really good time. <laughs> if you don't know what the minor pentatonic scale is, that's totally fine. <laughs> you do not need that um, to figure out what's what the tuning is gonna be, so you're totally good. Um, but what it is, is it's a minor pentatonic scale, um, and then between the fourth and fifth scale degrees, you actually add one in the middle, and that's called your blues note. It's like this cool, chromatic, three notes all in a row, right next to each other. Very cool sound. <laughs> Okay, so first we're gonna do the Idiopan Dominus. That is their 10 note tongue drum. Um, and the way that I did this, I did it in the key of G minor, um, but it's actually not gonna start on a G, it's gonna start on an F. So you have like that seventh to kind of play around with. So you go. And then that starts off your, um, your keys, that G right there. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get in close and figure out how to do this tuning. Now for this scale, you are unfortunately going to need to have um, some extra magnets for the domina, um, but not for the dominus. With, with the dominus, you can do it with just the regular magnet pack that comes with your idiopan. Um, but with the domina, you're going to need to have either the advanced magnet pack um, from idiopan, or you can grab any rare earth magnets off of Amazon and those also work. Um, I'll go ahead and throw a link to the ones that I use down in the description. Okay, so we are going to start here on the dominus. Um, and as I said earlier, we're going to start with tongue one on the note F. Get rid of that. <laughs> um, and then on tongue number two, this is actually going to be the first degree of our scale. We're going to tune this to G. And I want to do a super quick crash course for you. Um, if you don't remember how to tune your idiopan, <clears throat> this is so easy. Um, just download the app called Pano Tuner, and I will put a link to that down in the description so you can grab it. And then um, if your note is too low, say if you're at a G flat, then you're going to want to push your magnet that's under your tongue towards the edge of the drum. And if your note is too high, say you've got a G sharp or um, like an A or a B or something, then you're going to want to put your hand under and pull the magnet towards the center of your drum. Um, always keeping the magnet on the tongue, of course, and that will um, help you find your note. <laughs> okay, so we had F as our first note, and G is on tongue number two. And then on tongue number three, we're gonna start to build that minor chord. This one is gonna be B flat. Okay, and then on tongue number four, we're gonna go to a D flat. Here's our blue note. <laughs> you can already hear how cool that sounds. And I okay, so we've got our blue note, and then up here, we're gonna have the fifth, which is a D. And then on tongue number six, we're gonna have another F. And tongue number seven, we resolve to tonic, it's a G. And then kind of repeating our earlier pattern, um, tongue number eight is going to be a B flat. Tongue number nine is a D flat. And tongue number 10 is again a D. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to do it on the Idiopan Domina. That is their smaller version. Um, and you can still get a really cool blues scale out of it. Um, we're not going to put the seventh scale degree in, and we're going to change the key a little bit, and we're just going to make it half a step higher than on the Dominus, because um, that makes it a little easier to tune. It does, however, put it in a weird key. <laughs> um, so there's going to be a ton of flats. Um, 
This is going to be in the key of A flat minor, um, which I think has seven flats in it. <laughs> so a lot of flats, um, but it's still going to sound really great. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to tell you which tongues are going to require the extra magnets, um, just so you know, because that will make it a lot less difficult to figure out <laughs> when you're doing this for yourself. Um, so we're going to start on tongue number one with an A flat, and this is our one, our tonic. Tongue number two is going to be a B. Tongue number three is a D. And that is our blue note right there. You can kind of hear how that sounds. <laughs> Very cool. Um, tongue number four is going to be an E flat. And this one you're going to need your extra magnets on to get that down to an E flat. Um, so the way the extra magnets work is you are going to add them on top of the magnet that's already under there. And that's going to make the note even lower than it was previously able to go by being at the very edge of the tongue. Okay, and now we're going to move on to tongue number five, and that's going to be a G flat. And that's also going to require some extra magnets. Tongue number six is an A flat. And I believe, yep, this one also needs some extra magnets to get that down to an A flat. Tongue number seven is a B. And tongue number eight is a D flat. Domina and Dominus. Um, this scale is so much fun to improvise with. Um, it's It has a cool blues flavor if you use it in the right way, but it has so many other possible flavors depending on how you decide to use that blue note and how you decide to play around in that scale. It's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me down in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for scales that you would like to see adapted to the Idiopan, I would love to hear it because I always want to help you guys out with what you want to do. <laughs> Thank you guys again. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscription button right up there. Otherwise, if you would like to join my Patreon or buy me a coffee, the links to those are down in the description. <laughs> I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.